Well, we got a new book to add to your summer reading list. A local Navy veteran, playwright, and screenwriter is out with his, with his debut novel. It's titled Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. The book is already getting some stellar reviews. So joining us live to tell us more about the story is author Andre Lewis Carter. Good morning. Thanks for joining Good us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, morning. this sounds like such an interesting story. Set us up for this book. Kind of uh, tell us about uh, Cesar, the, the, your main character here, and, and his journey. He's, he's in the Navy at a really interesting time. Yes, uh, so, so it's set in the early 70s. Uh, the title is a uh, conundrum, a, a nautical term for a conundrum. And the uh, protagonist, Afro-Cuban, named Cesar, has some choices to make, and none of them are good. And uh, he ends up in the Navy because he thinks that uh, he can escape his problems there. And of course, he can't because the Navy is a reflection of society and all the problems that were in his neighborhood or in the Navy. He does end up, uh, or the climax uh, happens on the USS Kitty Hawk, which, uh, in which there was the only documented race riot. And in fact, this year is the 50th anniversary of that race riot. Mm. Wow. And yeah. so and that, and that's the gist. Yeah, he, he finds himself at a really interesting point in history and, and some crazy stuff. Oh, absolutely. I mean, clearly, you you uh, you being a Navy veteran yourself, there has to be a level of inspiration um, from, from that. Well, what what about what I mean, what inspired you to write this story? And what was your experience like, you know, in the Navy that maybe guided you along in your experience in writing this book? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually uh, started writing it in 2016, and I was struck by the uh, parallels uh, between the, uh, that time and the early 1970s. Uh, we had a Black Power movement going on, and we had Black Lives Matter now. Uh, they had the feminist movement going on, we have the Me Too movement now. Uh, we had an unpopular president in the 70s, and at that time we had an unpopular president uh, in the in the current time so i was struck by those parallels and yeah i came in i was enlisted in the navy in 1975 and the navy was still reeling from uh the fallout from the uh riot and it led to some positive changes in the navy and i'm sure it, it just gives you that that depth of understanding and really bringing an authentic story, you know, in this military setting to life. Uh, we, we mentioned it too, you're, you're also a, a playwright, a, a screenwriter. How was it writing your first novel? How how was getting into this story uh, in this way a little different from some of your other projects? Well, it's different in that uh, fiction, there's no format. There's actually a format to follow for screenplays and plays. But uh, for fiction, uh, it, it's all on you. So that, that was different. And uh, you know, you have to fill up all the space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives you a little more room to, to play and explore. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Uh, I, I mean, just listening to your experience writing the book and your uh, description of it, you know, it, it sounds very, um, I mean, it sounds like an important read, if, if, I'm being, if I'm being honest. What do you hope readers will take away from, from your book here? Well, uh, it, hopefully it'll start a conversation. Uh, that's my main goal. Uh, as well as to tell a very good story. So ho hopefully I accomplished that. I would like to mention that uh, this year is actually the 50th anniversary of the riot on Kitty Hawk. So that's another reason. Yeah, a, a timely a timely place to, to revisit this. Absolutely. And I know we, we got to let you go here in a second, but I, I am curious to know just how important is it to be able to visit topics that are so serious through the world of fiction? Sometimes it, it feels like it's a way to be able to break through a a barrier of a really yeah. difficult conversation. Uh, well, I, that's what art is supposed to do, in my opinion, is to uh, uh, in some way reflect the, what's going on today and uh, fiction, you know, the sky's the limit. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for anyone who's like, oh, I'm not a history buff. I can't, I don't enjoy historical. So this is such a good way right. to get immersed in someone's story and, and learn something too. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Andre. Great to hear about your first novel. Again, congrats on the well, new book. 
Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Take care. And if you want to check it out, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, it is out now. You can buy it wherever you get your favorite books, including at Powell's, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can also listen to it on Audible.